In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to implement scribing in SheCam. I've loaded a part. The idea here is that we're going to put the circle on the scribing layer. We're going to put the internal rectangle on the internal layer. And we're going to put the external rectangle on the external cutting layer. So to do that, I'm going to go to Contour Tool. I'm going to right click on the circle. Move to Layer, New Layer. And we'll call it Scribe. Same for the internal rectangle. I'm going to right click, move to layer, new layer, internal. The external rectangle, move to layer, new layer, external. Okay, we've got our three layers and they are in order and the order does matter. Describe, internal cuts, external cut. Now we need two tools. We need a scribing tool and we need a plasma cutting tool. So I'm going to click on the tool icon. In SheCam, the scribe tool is the plate marker tool. Diameter doesn't matter because we're not going to use offset. Feed rate, you need to keep it 60 or below. The cut height, start height, and pause at end of cut all need to be zero. Now we're going to create our plasma tool. This is where curve matters. You get this from the plasma operation manual in your cut chart. If it's not in the cut chart, then it's going to be in the book somewhere. Look for the curve compensation chart. Feed rate, same as well. You'll find that in your plasma operation manual cutting chart. Uh, pierce delay, all the rest of these make sure are zero. That's very important. If you don't make these zero, you're going to get an error. Then click OK. So now we got our layers and we got two tools. Now we need three operations. We need a scribe operation, internal cut operation, and an external cut operation. I'm going to click on the operation tool. I'm going to start with no offset. And I'm going to associate that to the scribe layer. And I'm going to use the plate marking tool. Make sure your feed rate is 60 or below. Cut direction doesn't matter. And typically you don't want to use lead ins or lead outs for scribing. Make sure when you create your operations, you do it in this order. Do scribe first, internal, then external, because that's how it's going to post process. The next operation is going to be the inside offset. We're going to associate that to the internal layer. We're going to use the plasma cutting tool. You'd set your feed right here. Make sure it's the reverse cut direction. And this is where we can use lead ins and lead outs. One more operation, the last operation which is going to be the outside offset or external cut. Make sure you're using the plasma tool. Feed rate, probably the same. Reverse cut direction, make sure it's checked. And again, you can use your lead ins and lead outs. Click OK. Now this part is ready to be post-processed and then you can load it into your DynaTorch cutting software.